What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Pan Panda here. You want to know the easiest way to make an old fashioned? Well, if you do, I've been searching for it and I think I got the answer finally. So listen, I love having uh, whiskey old fashions are just a delicious, delicious drink. And basically what you have to do is you have to grab your glass, some whiskey like this McAllen Rare cask here, and you know, make it yourself. And then many ways the way i've done it before is like throw a sugar cube into a glass um, soak it with bitters kind of muddle it a little bit add uh, a little carbonated um, liquid and then pour in some whiskey and sauce it around and ice it and garnish it with fruit anyway it's a big process and you know that's why i enjoy going to a bar and having old-fashioned and let them do it but I think I found the easiest way to make them, and that is taking something like this, a syrup that's already pre-mixed. It's kind of the, the liquid that you need, the bitters, the sugar, the simple syrup, all of that in one easy, convenient little bottled jar like this. And this one's Old Fashioned Cocktail Syrup by Strong Water. I actually picked it up on Amazon. There's no alcohol in this. Seven fluid ounces, but you mix it with whatever bourbon whiskey that you like, uh, even a scotch. So. The instructions here on the back actually kind of surprised me because you use very little of this compared to the amount of whiskey. Now, you're not making a huge drink here anyway, but I do have kind of my bartender glass right here. Two ounce funnel on the top, one ounce on the bottom. But the instructions here are kind of interesting. You basically take one quarter ounce of the old fashioned syrup to two ounces of whiskey. So uh, it should make a very small sipping drink. So I thought we'd give it a try and actually try it out and see if this is actually worth the darn. All right, so I've gone ahead and measured out about two ounces of my McAllen Rare cask and I just have regular cubed ice, nothing fancy at the moment. And then I'm just gonna flip this bad boy over and I am going to take the old fashioned cocktail syrup, which, which I have right here uh, by Strong Water and just open it up. And first of all, I'm just gonna give it a little sniff because I'm really curious what it smells like. Wow, you know, it smells like cinnamon. It's really uh, strong, odiferous, it smells good. Man, kind of smells like Christmas wassail. And even though it says a quarter ounce here, this top funnel is one ounce exactly. So you're not gonna add a bunch of it. So I think that's about a quarter ounce, but I'm gonna have to eyeball it just a little bit. And I'm gonna pour that in there. And then we will use a stir to stir this up. There it is. And you can see that's how much old fashioned it makes. And two and a quarter ounces of of drink right there. It's got a nice color to it, very caramelly, slightly darker than obviously the the bourbon that came out of there. And it smells nice. It definitely has still that that whiskey smell. Hmm. Wow. It's pretty good. Definitely depending on how fruity you like your uh, whiskey in the old fashioned. You can kind of skew it one way or the other. And I can kind of taste the bitters. It's got a little bit of that bitter taste, you know, kind of that, that flavor, uh, which is great. And like I said, I mean, the nice thing about this is you can kind of make it skew towards whiskey. You can kind of make it skew towards the cocktail syrup, whatever you want. So if you want to play with that ratio a little bit, you can certainly do that. And if you want to take an orange peel and uh, kind of spray the essence of it in there or drop the fruit in there, the cherry or whatever, you can certainly do that. But man, this is such an easy way to make an old fashioned. I'm stoked to find it because a lot of times I want to whip up a few of these for buddies and do it quickly and have something quality. And I just don't always have the ingredients. So this makes it a lot easier than the old ways. I tell you what, I'll put a link to this old fashioned cocktail syrup in the description below. Peter Von Banda, out.